Hello students, in this video we'll discuss level sets of functions of several variables or level surfaces based on the dimension. So if we're given a function, z equals f of x, y, the level sets of f are those such that we look at zc, which is the set of all points x, such that f of x is equal to c for a real number c. So let's get our sense of what this would look like. So for example, z1 would be the set of all points x and that's x f of x and y, of course. The set of all points x and y, so this should be an x and a y. So f of x and y. Of all points x and y, such that f of x and y is equal to c. So this will be the set of all points x and y x and y, such that f of x, y is equal to 1. And z sub pi would be the set of all points x and y, such that f of x, y is equal to pi. So this might not make much sense right now, but let's do a couple examples and see how this works out. So if we look at this example, here's my function f of x, y is equal to 3x plus 2y. Well, if we look at, for example, z1 for this function, it'd be the set of all points x and y such that 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. And of course, if we have 3x plus 2y equals 1, we can say that's the same as 2y is equal to 1 minus 3x, and y is equal to 1 half minus 3 halves x. So this level set over here, x and y, is just a straight line that has a negative slope of 3 halves. So that's what my level set looks like. So this line over here is the line z1. If we did something like this, if I looked at z2, for example, this would be the set of all points x and y, such that 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. And if we solve this, what we'll see is we'll see that 2y is equal to 2 minus 3x. So y is equal to 1 minus 3 halves x. So this line is the same slope as the previous line. It's just a different y-intercept. That would be 1 half, and so this would be this same slope. Z2. In fact, by working through this example, you'll see that all the level sets of this function are straight lines with slope negative 3 halves. So this over here might be z0, this might be z negative 1, that might be z negative 2, etc. So the level sets of this function, 3x plus 2y, are these parallel straight lines whose slope are all negative 3 halves. Let's see another example. If I look at this function over here, if I look at f of xy is x squared plus y squared, then what would z1 be? z1 would be the sets of all points x and y, such that our function x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. z2 would be the set of all points x and y, such that x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. Now what would z negative 1 be? z negative 1 would be the set of all points x and y such that x squared plus y squared is equal to negative 1. But we know that x squared plus y squared can't be negative 1, so this set over here is empty. There's nothing in it. It's a null set. Every other of these level sets are circles centered at the origin of different radii. So these level sets are concentric circles. centered at the origin. So these level sets are circles. And so we see from these two examples that the level sets we're getting for functions of two variables are a collection of curves. And so what can we say about these curves? So in general, if we have level sets, so if I give you a configuration, if I say here's x and here's y, and then I say here's the first level set, that might be z1, over here might be z2, and maybe this weird thing 
is my Z3. Now, why are level sets neat? Level sets are neat because any point on this curve over here, if I plug in this point, say that was my point f, x, and y, I know that for that point, x and y, the value of the function is going to be equal to 3 since it's on the Z3, the level set where the function is equal to 3. If I pick this point over here, a, b, then f of a, b would be equal to 2 since it's on the 2 level set. So what these level sets are doing is you're taking the where the function is equal to a constant value and you're just tracing around that curve and that curve will tell you where the function is a constant value. Each of these level sets are curved and we should note that level sets cannot intersect. Z2 and Z3 cannot intersect. If there was a point of intersection, the function would be equal to 2 and the function would be equal to 3 and that would violate the vertical line test for functions. So level sets cannot intersect, and level sets give us information about the value of, of a function on a curve where the function's constant. Thank you very much.